I like it better with the hair down, like a lot better. I guess you just press it. Oh, I think we have a winner. You look like a uh, rip. It's the size of my palm. What the, this thing is so tiny. I'll get into like a deeper review after I've used it for a little bit. Oh, well. Should have asked for napkins. and I brought you guys then I realized that there wasn't an SD card <laughs> but I just went to Pilates today and then I had my last Beach Friday for summer 2023 it kind of feels better sweet but it's time for fall it is Labor Day weekend and for me I count fall as starting right after Labor Day so pretty much we're there this is the last weekend of summer kicked it off with my last Beach Friday but I came home and there are a bunch of Amazon boxes that I got in along with this giant one from Revolve. I'll unpack it for you guys and I'll probably give you guys the clue of the festival that Trevor and I are heading to that I've been teasing but you know while I do it I'm gonna have a hard kombucha. I just picked this up. I went to the grocery store right after the beach and I just like for some reason I was really craving a June shine. I got the Pog which is pineapple, orange juice, guava and then this one also has green tea. Let's start with the Revolve one because this is my hat for the festival that we're going to. Where are my keys? But yeah, this is my hat for the festival that we're going to. I did think about wearing this one, but tomorrow I think Trevor and I are gonna go shop for his because he needs to be outfitted for the festival we're going to. Not next weekend, but the weekend after. Got mine off of Revolve. This is like a box within a box. Unnecessary. Like I feel like they could have just slapped the label on this and shipped it, but whatever. And I do have one of these, but it's a couple years old and it got kind of trampled on vacation. So I was like, I want a new one because I'm excited to go to this festival. But I got a new straw cowboy hat, which I'm sure is a really big clue to what kind of festival we're going to. But this one is from the brand Brixton. This looks huge. I, it said it was a small medium. My hair is a hot mess, but we'll just ignore that. So let me see. Is it too big? I mean, you know, no. It feels a little costumey. Should I just see if I can shape my old one? I don't know. I'm gonna have to sit on it. I'm not entirely positive, or maybe I'll just buy one tomorrow when we go get Trevor's. This is the standard. I don't know. Maybe it might be good that it's bigger because we're gonna be outside all day. Like, I'm gonna need some sun protection. Maybe if my hair was down, that might help this. Okay, I like it better with the hair down, like a lot better, but I need to go try mine on, even though it's a little bit misshapen, and see if. I feel like just going with that one or keeping this one. You know what started me off here? It's really tall. Like it's super tall, which is not typically how I have my Western hats. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about that one. May or may not keep it. Where the hell did my hat go? Okay. I feel like just because my head is on the smaller side, I just feel like unproportionate. So we'll go upstairs and try to find my hat in a second here after I unbox all of this. I do also have a very, very big Amazon order coming in on Sunday. I'm sure you guys saw it in the title. I got a new camera. I finally settled on the Canon V10 mainly because I went to order the Sony RX and hi, please don't chew on that hat. I might return it, buddy. I actually ordered the Sony RX and apparently the reason why I saw it at such great prices, Leo, please don't knock that over, is because apparently I was looking at the imported one so it would have had a japanese menu and no wi-fi so i was like no never mind and then if i got the us one it was 350 dollars more and i was like absolutely not that's not happening all right i need to change your battery while i was changing my battery i was like you know what let me go look at my other hat 
that's the one I wore in Cabo. And like I said, it got a little bit misshapen, but it actually, it might be fine now that I'm looking at it. Probably just need to like hold the curl for a little bit somehow, but let's see if this is better. Hi, you are just wild right now. Oof. Also, I can feel it on my head, it fits better. You guys can't even see anything. It's really tight, actually. You know, I just realized this is a kid's one. That's why. Okay, I like it better, but it's so tight. And now I'm remembering why I haven't worn it as often. It's super tight. But it is a much better shape. Like, it's not too tall. Like, it's the perfect height. I just, like, I can already feel it. I'm getting a dent right here. Yeah. And that was, like, a minute of wearing it. Okay. I don't know, I might have to look when we go to Boot Barn tomorrow with Trevor. But yeah, I might have to return the other one because I'm not like loving it. Let me try it on again. Either that or I wear this hat and go for more of like a cap and western boots kind of a vibe. I don't know, maybe I'll just do this one. I don't, I'm, th I'm strongly thinking about it because I'm like, I know I'm going to be comfy in this. One more time with this one. It's really comfortable. It's just, it's so tall. I don't know. I don't love it. And I feel like that's enough to make me say I should return it. Like, if I don't love it, it should go back. Because I have alternatives. Well, one alternative. Excuse you, can you move? Can you move? Oh, I love you so much. I do. I do. So I unboxed a bunch of things. <laughs> so I unboxed a couple things this morning when they came in. The first one is some um, beef liver treats for this one right here and then also some rabbit treats for him. I'm gonna give you the beef one right now because it's open, okay? You gotta finish out your other rabbit treats. Okay, okay my handsome boy. Look at me. Yes, why do you do that? Look. Yes. God. He like tries to like not directly look at me. He'll like look here on me. I'm like, why are you doing that? Then I also, this may actually come in handy right now. I got this little light. This is to accessorize my new camera with. It comes in on Sunday. Right now it's Friday. But I got this portable light because that one does not have a flash. Not that I really use the flash that much. That's why it wasn't really like a factor for me. I almost got the Alex Earl one, but then I saw this one and I kind of, I think it's going to work better. Oh, it's hot. Hot as balls. And the more I'm thinking about it, the more I actually might just wear this hat for the festival. Like I love an opportunity to wear a cowboy hat, but like this is just so comfortable. And I mean, not to sound conceited or anything, but this looks really good on me, you know? But anyways, okay, so I got this light. It can go on your phone or it could go on the camera. And it does come with a clip if you want to clip it on. And then a charger and then Oh, this is like, so you can thread it if you want to onto something, if that's an option you have. Let me see if this is charged up at all. Oh, yes, it is. Holy crap. There it is. So that's the cool setting, I think. Oh, that's the intensity. Uh, wow. Oh, this is making my camera go crazy right now. Oh, God, that is bright. I know that it has like different settings. You can do cool, warm. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Or... Oh, I think I control it with my phone. That's kind of cool. So like I control the temperature with my phone. So I'll bring this Oh, oh, there we go. That's, that's a warm light. Okay, and then this is probably the light I would use. This is like a soft warm light. So for example, if I were to clip this on this camera, here's the light before and a lot brighter. So let's just film the rest of the time with this. And then what is in here? I ordered so much stuff because I ordered all of Leo's like refills that he needed and then I wanted to try a couple new treats for him. Ooh, okay. I just went to the grocery store for this. I want to try doing rosemary water for my hair. So I got these little guys. I'm going to make that a dedicated video, but yeah, I got these. They're like a little squeeze brush with a comb so I can just like comb it into my hair. So that'll be fun. And then my plan is to just like make as much as I can and then split it into threes and then freeze it, whichever one I'm not using to preserve it for longer. So I'm excited to do that. And then again, where's my keys? God, this light is great. And this package, I think I even have more coming later tonight. <laughs> like some things are still out for delivery right now. There's just gonna be packages coming in all weekend. So there's just gonna be unboxings throughout this vlog. 
Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is for Leo. I got him some duck necks. I've always wanted to put duck necks in his food. I usually put a duck foot in his dinners or like a cod skin or something. I like to give him something to chew on. So I wanted to try a duck neck. So I'm sure he's gonna love that. Then this last package for today, because like I said, there's a bunch coming like a bunch with one of them being the new camera that i'm so excited about we will be using it in this vlog once it comes in i am gonna switch to that that'll be on sunday so if you came here from the title to see the canon unboxing and see how it looks while i'm vlogging and stuff that'll be halfway through this vlog so bear with me <laughs> okay this one oh my god i'm sweating so hard i got him a refill on his fishies he loves his fishies these are the wild caught baltic sprot i usually tear these up into like two to three pieces so this lasts for a little while oh yes and then i've been really wanting this i've wanted one of these for like two years i got this olive oil dispenser but what's really cool about it is that it actually measures out the olive oil that you're gonna pour so i think basically you just press the button and it like sucks up however much you want so you can do looks like up to one tablespoon in here or three teaspoons so that's really really cool if you're like tracking stuff or you know just trying to be better about how much you're consuming and stuff because oil i feel like is something that just can get out of hand so easily you know you tip the bottle and next thing you know you pour like a third of it into your food so i figured i'd start with one there's what it looks like with the measuring part but yeah i figured i'd start with one. Oh, okay i get it so you squeeze and it'll suck it up and then let go where you want it to be and then i guess you just pour it out so yeah i'm excited to cook with this i think that this will be a great addition to our kitchen and it's glass Ooh, that's nice i was really scared that this was plastic but it's glass you want to try to store olive oil in glass it keeps it better okay then the last one is new pjs i don't know exactly when i'm gonna start wearing these but for pjs typically this is the type of pj girl i am just like an oversized graphic tee especially like in the winter and stuff i'll like do like a long sleeve or a crew neck but i kind of wanted to get into like the silk pajama sets but weird thing about me if you like haven't been here for a while i hate buttons like i really hate the appearance of buttons on clothing so button downs pajama sets where it's a button down that's gonna be a no so i wanted to try out this silk camisole pajama set i got it in a large because i wanted it to be oversized i just want to be like super comfy so i mean honestly if they had had an xl i would have probably done that just like hanging out all over the place but like still feeling like not restricted at all i got it in this beautiful navy blue color so that's the top and the bottoms are these little elastic shorts so i'll probably slip into these at some point this weekend or at some point this week and then if I like it I'll order more but that is everything that came in sorry you guys I think it cut off the card was full but anyways that was everything that was from Amazon I think the only things that I didn't show you guys were his joint supplements and his dehydrated food which I've shown you guys a million times for dinner we do a mix of kibble and the honest kitchen like dehydrated meals just rehydrate them and it's like literally human grade food but yeah that's everything that came in today like I said, there's going to be a ton more coming in during this Labor Day weekend vlog. So get ready for more. But I'm going to put away the groceries and take a shower because I am, like, can you guys see this shit? I am sweating so much. Oh my god, you guys. I just got to, like, meet our neighbor's new dog. He's a little 14-week-old English bulldog and he's so cute. I was just, like, chatting with them and stuff. Because they were the ones who suggested the insurance that we use for Leo. So yeah, I was just chatting with them about a few different things. But, oh my god cutest little puppy but okay i'm gonna go ahead and do the olive oil in there it out. Oh, I figured out why I'm so hot. First off, it is humid as fuck today, but also I like failed to like notice when I got home there's plastic over our front window, so there's no airflow where I was filming because our landlord has been doing cosmetic updates to the outside of our townhouses. So they did some painting and I guess covered up our window with plastic and then they'll take it off tomorrow, but that's why I was so hot in that spot because all the heat was just getting held in right there. So mystery solved, but let's go ahead and fill this guy. Yes, I did get crumble, by the way. Brief intermission. I'll show you guys what I got. I've tried all these before, so I'm not going to try them on here. And also, too, these flavors are gone by the time this vlog goes up. But I got the Snickerdoodle Cupcake. This is the lava cookie butter. Regular chocolate chip for Trevor. He'll be happy to see this again. And then the confetti one. So that's the lineup let's fill this up and see how this works let me rinse this i don't want to get too much water everywhere because i don't want the olive oil to get diluted with water i got olive oil just the kirkland i need to go to costco god i haven't been to costco in forever but this is the kirkland like italian one like it was made in italy what is this the olio di roma extra virgin I think what's left in here can fit in this the only thing is i wish that it was a dark glass here 
because I know dark is better. We have just a little bit left in here. It's literally like to there. And then let's close it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a teaspoon. Oh, and then it has milliliters on the other side. I did not realize that. I guess you just press it. Oh, and that's one teaspoon. Comes out kind of fast, so just be aware. Nice. Perfect. And that's one teaspoon in there. I guess that's just going to stay in there until the next time we need olive oil. But one teaspoon has been measured out. I'm making Leo's dinner and I have the duck necks. These are freeze dried raw duck necks. There is an option to rehydrate overnight if you want, but he likes things crunchy. So we're just going to leave it crunchy. Do these have feathers? I was kind of hoping they'd have feathers because feathers are like good fiber. But I gave him less kibble and like less of his other food as like a smaller dinner and then supplementing with the duck neck. I was like, oh my God, he's out of joint supplements. And then I remembered I just bought some. So he gets two of these, his omega oil. I just totally remembered I need to order my dinner. <laughs> but here are what the molds look like that I got in the last vlog. I'm gonna give him an acorn today because the acorn's a little bit smaller. Again, this is a new food for him, so I just don't want to make his tummy go crazy. But oh my god, the acorn is so cute. In there. Blueberry and goat milk. And then this is frozen golden paste just turmeric and coconut oil. It's a little higher in fat because of the coconut oil, so I'm just gonna only give him one again because we have the duck neck. And I wash my hands after touching the duck neck. Even though it is freeze dried, it is still raw, so I gotta wash my hands. And then just a little bit of blood dust. Here's what his dinner looks like, you guys. I cannot get over the acorn. It's so cute in here. The leaves are cute too. It definitely makes his food feel very autumn themed, but let's go ahead and give this to him and see if he likes the duck neck. I'm sure he will. I've given him a duck head before and he absolutely loved it. And then he usually has a duck foot in his dinner, so I'd imagine he'll be a fan. Right. Release. Go, 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 go. We're trying it and it seems to be a hit. The whole family. Look at that. Well, you can't see Leo. He's back here. We are all going to boot barn right now. Gonna do some shopping, get Trevor outfitted for the festival we're going to. Yay. <laughs> we did call Boot Barn first to make sure that they are dog friendly and they are. So figured it was a good like training opportunity for Leo. And since we have these plans, I'm not able to take him to the park in the morning. So at least this way kind of like replaces it. Well, you didn't even get up in the morning. So <laughs> how would you take him to I the park sleepy. in the morning? <laughs> I'm sleepy. There he is. Leo. All strapped in. No, he's he's not gonna look. What you looking at? He is invested in what's going on outside. So this is the first option, little Cody James one. Looks good. How does it feel on the inside? Do you need a size it's down? Snug. No, it's oh, it's snug. Perfect. Oh, it looked like loose around your head. Look at this guy, he's being so good, he's laying down. Like a good boy. Looking at this that one. dark brown. Okay, the next one is six and seven eight, so that's gonna be a no. Nope. Oh, that's a drop <laughs> I'd help you, but I've got the dog. No, good. <laughs> Are these ones above the same style? Slightly different. I yeah. think we have a winner. You look like uh, Rip. No. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, oh we like this one? Giant? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. All right. Oh goodness, did we find Do it? Do we have success, buddy? We're successful. He is so curious about everything. If I'm in Lake Forest, always gotta get Mr. Pickles. Trevor is getting the sandwiches. I went back here because obviously Leo couldn't come inside there, so I just gave him my order and ran back. But we are pretty much fully outfitted then for this upcoming festival. I still need to get a couple of pieces, but I already have them saved to my car on Amazon, so pretty much good to go. I completely changed my aesthetic for this festival, like so many times. I think I've gone through like four or five outfit ideas. And like, thank God for Michelle, like I've been sending them to her and she's been helping talk me through them. I feel like a music festival is tricky because like you want to dress up and you want to be like on theme for whatever it is, but you also want to be comfortable because the one that we're going to is an all day thing. And like, there's a good chance we'll have to walk a little before and after because we're not going to park in the parking structure for it. No way in hell. We actually have a friend who lives in Long Beach and he said that we could park at his place and we're either going to Uber from his place or he's going to drive us. So we just know that we have to be prepared to walk quite a bit that day. 
You have the Sammies? Yep. Thank you, babe. I'm so excited for Mr. Pickles. I like want to run home. Got a salami sandwich on sourdough. So excited. And then Trevor got the tuna. All right, we've got squid action. <laughs> Hi. You done? Okay. But as promised, more Amazon packages came in, so we're doing an unboxing. Trevor's upstairs taking a nap right now if anyone's wondering where he went. But the first one, okay, I got another one of these because I'm obsessed and I want to have one at home and one in the car. But I got another air stick. I love these so much. If you guys like missed it, this is basically like a stickless tripod, if that makes any sense. This will adhere to any surface that's flat. Anything that doesn't have texture, it's technically more made for glass, but you could do it on like steel or something. I would be careful with anything that has paint, you don't wanna rip it off, but the back of this, it's actually not sticky at all. It's made up of like a bunch of like microscopic suction cups. So it doesn't leave a sticky residue or anything like that. You can wash it and they'll be as good as new. And it holds up to two pounds. It actually holds this camera. So this one is gonna go in the car. I specifically got black because this is the one that I'm gonna use out and about. So I didn't wanna do white for it because I don't want it to get dirty. But I'm gonna put the film back on just for like while it's stored in my car because the film is easy to take on and off. But I love the air stick if you guys like have been wanting something where it like makes it easier to film with your phone when you're just like out in the world and stuff i highly recommend that one this next package oh i think that this is accessories for the camera tomorrow so i got a few accessories for the canon v10 that is coming in tomorrow first thing that i got were some screen protectors for the viewfinder screen because obviously i don't want that getting cracked why is this showing a different camera on the back. I guess the size also works for the V10. Oh yeah, here's here's the label. Yeah, for the V10. Okay. So yeah, screen protector, very important. Then this is another power bank. I just wanted to get an extra power bank since the V10 does not have an external battery, but you can like charge it with an external power bank when you're out and about and stuff. So I wanted to get another one so that I have extras on hand at all times because unlike this camera with a removable battery, I can't bring extra batteries with me. So this would technically be the extra battery is powering it up and charging it up with this. So the V10 has a USB-C port, which is what this one is. It's it's what all of my other portable chargers are, but it never hurts to have extra. So this is what it looks like. It's very similar to the one that I have a couple of and I've been showing you guys, but this one's a little bit different. It has like a little digital screen to tell you exactly how much power is left in there. This is currently at 70%, so I'm gonna charge it up. Where did the cord go? There it is. Yeah, I'm gonna charge this up, but I thought it was cool that it was digital, something a little bit different. All right, then lastly, I have a micro USB card. This is 256 gigabytes, which I'm so interested to see how this goes. All of my memory cards are 128, so this is double, and since it's a micro SD card, I'm very, very curious if it really truly holds that much. And this one does do 4K, which is good because when it comes to the V10, I am gonna film in 4K. I don't know if I'm gonna export in 4K though, but you can film in 4K and then export in just high def and it'll look even better than the high def but just not as good as 4K. I feel like for vlogs, I don't need to go like that crazy. We'll see how this goes. I've never really used a micro USB card, but it does come with an adapter so I can plug it in here and transfer stuff. I'm so excited to get my new camera in. I can't wait for this camera. It's so tiny. Like I've never seen a camera that does as much as it does in that small of a package. All right, then I have one more box here. I think that this is just Leo's stuff. Pretty positive, this is just for him. Yep, got him some collagen sticks for him to chew on when he's getting crazy at night. So that is today's Amazon order and that's pretty much everything except for the camera. So, oh my God, I can't wait until tomorrow. I hope it gets delivered in the morning because I'm like, I'm so excited to play with it. I think it's time. Where are they? Oh, there it is. It's time to break out the pumpkin pods. So I've got the creamer. I'm just basically going in with straight creamer. I did just a tiny bit of milk because I remembered that these pods are a full coffee size and not a single shot or a double shot. And also I read that these are good for like up to nine months and I got these last year. We stocked up, but we never used everything. It would have been in November because that was the last month that they sold the pumpkin ones. December, January, February. 
we are right on the cusp here. Like these need to be used now because they're gonna be pretty much done. So we'll see how flavorful it is. It says that it'll go stale, like you'll lose flavor. So I think I'm just like right on the borderline with this. But I'm also, right now, I'm making myself some breakfast tacos. So I'm gonna assemble those while this brews and then I can finally have my first pumpkin coffee of the year. I made some breakfast tacos. This is like the perfect thing to make if you want a brunch, but like super high protein. I think there's like 67 grams of protein in this whole meal. But yeah, in here I have egg whites, cheese, sausage, tomatoes, and then I have a hash brown on the side. So I had half of one of my tacos. Just have something in my stomach first. Let's try the coffee. Oh yeah. Can definitely still taste the pumpkin in here. That's really good. I guess welcome to fall. So it is currently like 5 30 and I am getting so impatient right now. My camera has been out for delivery since this morning and it is driving me up a wall. It's still not here. It hasn't even like started tracking you know like how the Amazon app lets you know like once your package is like 10 stops away you can like track it. Hasn't even like done that yet and I'm like why is this taking so long? The delivery person started in Huntington Beach this morning which is just like 10 15 minutes away from us so i'm like where are you man i need my camera but uh, i'm getting ready because trevor and i are gonna go walk around at the marina leo village probably grab a bite to eat or something seems like a good spot to like hang out for the last official weekend of summer so we're gonna go there in a little bit and i was hoping to have my camera by then and like have been able to unbox it and like play with it a little bit and especially i was hoping that i would be home for the delivery because i would definitely prefer for it to not be sitting outside on our porch for a couple of hours because it's a freaking camera so i'm like where is this guy i mean honestly the timing on when the amazon truck gets to us can vary it just depends on like where it started from so i guess since it started from huntington beach it kind of makes sense that it's taking a little bit but we have a few options for places that we can try down in the area that we haven't tried before there's one sushi restaurant i keep hearing about constantly it's called buddha's best it's not exactly at Marina Lido, it's a little, like a couple streets over, but I keep hearing people say that like it's a really, really good sushi there. And then there's also some new pizza place, I believe, that opened up at Marina Lido Village that would be fun to try. I know Trevor's Eden at, there's a restaurant we spotted last time we were there called Fable and Spirit. He went there with his dad after we saw it and he said that was really good. I'd be down to try that. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be dressed for it though because it's like nicer. But we'll see. It'll just be nice to have like dinner by the water. Kind of close out the last summer weekend on an appropriate note. As I've been doing my hair here, I just got a notification. It is 10 stops away. So hopefully... In the next half hour, we will be switching to a new camera. That's very exciting. I'm just so curious about this camera. I've heard that it's like so compact and stuff. And it's just like, I feel like that's gonna be so interesting because I mean, the camera that I use right now, it's not tiny, but it's also not a point and shoot. So it's definitely a decent size. I feel like the V10 is gonna be like so weird to have something like literally this big that I'm filming with, but I'm excited for it. I'll make it definitely more efficient to film in like certain events or certain types of situations and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna do like a ton of makeup tonight. Just like a little bronzer, blush, mascara, not anything crazy. I'm in like no mood to actually sit here and do a bunch of makeup, especially because I'm excited for the camera. <laughs> I just want to get it and unbox it. Hair is done. I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup and change. And hopefully by the time all that's done, we can unbox. You guys, it says it's one stop away. So got dressed, finished up, a little bit of makeup. This dress is pretty old from Boohoo. It's just like one of those tiered trapeze dresses. I've actually been looking for it for like a year and I finally found it just buried in all my clothes. Jacket is my Levi denim jacket from Amazon. I talk about this so much in every Amazon video and in my most recent current favorites video. An item that should have been included in that favorites video. For shoes, I'm wearing the getaway sandals from Princess Polly. You guys, these slides are the comfiest slides ever. This whole section right here is cushioned. It feels so good on my feet. I walk in these so much and they're so comfortable to walk in and they look cute on. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it down. 
And then finally for my bag, since I'm gonna be carrying a way smaller camera, I'm gonna do the little mini Jody dupe from Amazon. I love this dupe. This one's so good. It's so soft. It feels so good. Highly recommend this one. I think it comes in a few colors, but yeah, that is the outfit for today. And then it said my camera is one stop away. So I'm like literally gonna go wait by the window right now. All right, you guys, she's here. <gasps> There it is. So I totally just started unboxing this on TikTok and totally forgot about you guys, but you guys look how small this camera is. Like, it's the size of my palm. What the? This thing is so tiny. Are you serious? I'm just setting it up right now. But first off, this is so lightweight. Like, when I got the package in, I was like holding it. I was like, is there even a camera in here? It felt like nothing. So it comes with a double-sided USB-C cord. I use that to connect to my phone. Good luck if you have an iPhone that doesn't do USB-C. So I'm just setting this up to pair with my phone. You guys also, the screen is so tiny on this. It's like the cutest little thing. This, no one's gonna notice that I'm filming. I'm actually really excited about this. Okay, so different from my current Canon, what you guys are on, I'm gonna Bluetooth pair this together. So this one connects by Wi-Fi, but this is now Bluetooth, which is so cool. Oh, I can set up both, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So to set up Wi-Fi, it's prompting me to insert a card. I'm assuming they mean an SD card because I don't know what other card I would have needed to insert in here. So I'm just gonna do that. So I have the micro USB card that I got. Got this thing so small, I'm so scared to lose it. Look at this teeny tiny screen. She's so cute. And I'm connected. I can control the camera with my phone. That's really, really cool. I'm gonna disconnect though. But here is the camera, so, so small. So, so tiny. Oh my God, the angle on this is so wide. It's it's gonna be so nice. Ugh, I miss that. All right, so for the settings, I'm gonna switch it to 4K. White balance auto. Even though the screen is small, and granted, I have small fingers, so keep that in mind. It's actually fairly easy for me to navigate the menu, but I feel like I need more here. Okay, shooting mode. 4K sound recording. I'll leave that on auto for right now because I'm gonna plug in the external mic. ND filter, turning on like I had said before. Autofocus is on, fantastic. So it's an incredibly similar menu to this camera, so not much learning curve here. I'm just gonna figure out a few things and then maybe I'll go ahead and plug in the mic and record with this. Recording my first clip on here first off. Look at how like wide zoomed I am. That's so nice. It feels good that you guys aren't like right here anymore, but looks pretty good. I haven't plugged in my mic yet. Let me do that here in a second. I just wanted to see how the regular mic does on its own, but more than likely I'll continue to record with my external mic, but let me go ahead and find that and plug that in. Okay, testing with the external mic. I'm gonna play this clip back for myself in a second. I just wanted to see how it does, but a couple things first off just filming the only thing that i've changed is switching to 4k and then also turning the nd filter on auto right now the sun's setting so i don't think we're gonna get to see much action from the nd filter but i'm still trying to figure out where to find the stabilization settings on here because that is another thing that i want to set although it seems to be fairly smooth for the most part so i may actually be in one of the stabilization settings but Okay, I don't know if the mic's picking me up, so I'm gonna check the footage. So I checked back and the audio sounds fantastic. I'm so glad to have this external mic back. The one drawback of putting the external mic on is that it makes the camera a little bit less compact. So I think just depending on the settings, I'll use it. But I think for the most part, daily I'll use it. But if I need to take this camera anywhere where I need it to be really, really small, then I would probably take the mic off. But I do love it. Also too, another thing that I really love on this is that when you are recording, the border of the screen turns red so that you know for sure you're recording. There's so many times where I was like on this camera here and I would realize I wasn't recording because it's just like a small like red light that tells you when you're recording versus this one. It's like huge and it's like, hey, you are recording. So that's really, really nice. But loving this so far. This is very, very much a first impression. Please keep that in mind. Also too, this thing is lightweight. I feel like I'm like not even holding anything. I'll get into like a deeper review after I've used it for a little bit. But for right now, I just kind of want to test it. Use it for the next day and a half and like make sure that I really love it and want to keep it and stuff but so far it's looking pretty good I already know the drawbacks with this camera I am prepared for them but so far for me the positives outweigh the negatives we are heading to Marina Lido right now probably gonna try the pizza place for dinner but we'll see when we get there I can't erase you, nor would I want to 
I got these Nikes not to step on your soul But just to check on you it never gets so hard You make the city wanna take you back But now you know that you're smarter than that I'm never taking your love for granted Falling for you harder than granite I don't know anyone as sweet as you You're a mango in disguise, I can't get over you snack I got this Luxology hard seltzer this is a honeydew lime seltzer we stopped by the chicken shop Trevor wanted a wrap because we just shared that pizza so he wanted a little bit more food and then I got that seltzer and some za'atar fries they look so so good and then I got the garlic tomb to go with it just to dip but some initial first thoughts on this camera and I fully believe in bad news first good news last so the first thing that I'm not a fan of on here and it's something that I can probably fix and like figure out like where to go for this it doesn't tell me immediately on the screen how much memory is left on the card that I have in here I have a 256 gigabyte card so it should hold a lot I'm not like worried right now I just started using the camera but when I start getting close I would like to know how much more memory is left on the card that's something that's missing on this and try the seltzer oh that's interesting honey do lime is definitely a new flavor it's good that's not like anything I've ever had before but anyways the other thing that I'm kind of like iffy on is that there's like a countdown clock thing on here and I thought that was originally what told me how much memory was on the card but I don't think it is and it like Hasn't changed at all since I've been filming, so I don't know what it is. So that's really annoying me. That's something I should go into the manual and figure out what that is. But overall, really love it so far. It was so discreet to film with. It's super... Oh my gosh. I just realized my mic's been facing the wrong way. Sorry, guys. It's really discreet to film with. It's super, super, super lightweight. Like, it feels like I'm carrying nothing. The photo setting on it is great once you figure it out. Oh, that is one thing that I don't really like is that the photo setting, you can't set it for a timer with multiple shots like I can on my bigger camera. But this is really meant to be more of a video camera, so I can't really fault it too much for what it's for. But, like, when I'm taking photos on my own, I love having that setting on the M200 where I can set it for 10 seconds and they'll, like, burst take like four photos at a time so that's something that I, I I really wish that that this one had but all good that it doesn't I also really feel like I was expecting worse quality than it is like it is plastic but it's a very very sturdy plastic all around all the hinges and stuff on this camera are really good quality they feel really really good it doesn't feel like anything's gonna break nothing's loose so overall I'm actually impressed with the quality of the camera because I went into this expecting the worst and have been just like very very pleasantly surprised also too really really love filming with the wide angle it feels good to have that again I am sad that I don't have zoom but it is something that I can live with. Love having the external mic again. I'm so relieved to be able to use an external mic. You have no idea. I will say too, I did figure out how to turn on the stabilization probably part way through when I was filming tonight. So it crops the frame in just a little bit, but not too much. But it does make it more stable in the clips and stuff. So you get a little bit of a trade off for that. But yeah, I finally did figure out how to do that. But overall, so far, really liking it would recommend as of today but i'll continue to use it for probably a few more weeks until i do like a full review on this so i'll be vlogging on this camera for the foreseeable future oh also too i should know i have you guys on the tripod that this camera is attached to right now and i really love this feature the fact that i can just like sit you guys upright on like any surface is like so nice i love this so much and like i can lean it further back or i can lean it more forward and just so great i feel like that was a really really nice touch on this camera I picked up, I saw these and I was like, wait, this is smart because I have the um, little glass jars from Crate and Barrel that hold my berries, but... So Leo and I just got done at the park. We're leaving right now and I'm finally doing it. It's been long enough. These have been out for a while now and I cannot believe 
that I haven't gone to get them. We are going to Dunkin' and we are getting my damn pumpkin spice donut holes. I've seen them out, I've seen people getting them and I've been like so jealous, but there's no Dunkin' near us and I haven't been anywhere. I need to figure out a new mount for this. Okay, anyways. But I haven't been anywhere near the areas where there are Dunkin's here. They're all like so far from me, but like I said, I was like, fuck it, we're gonna bite the bullet this morning and we are driving all the way to Dunkin'. So that's what we're doing. Oh shoot, buddy, I just realized, how are we gonna do this? You're strapped in. Probably just have to park and get out to give him his puppuccino. I haven't had my coffee in so long. I'm so excited for this. Oh, shit, that's good. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Okay, buddy. I will park so that you can enjoy this since you can't come over here. Ooh, buddy. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Should have asked for napkins. Okay. I'm gonna turn this. Oh, shoot. Can. <laughs> A hot mess. Okay, so that was adorable, but time for pumpkin munchkins. First ones of the year. Oh my god. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I have missed these. Oh my god. They're so good. 100% worth the drive. Just been editing. Came home for a little bit, but now I'm gonna head back out. So I gotta do my return and then <laughs> Trevor and I are gonna go to Home Goods. I wanna see if I can get more pet friendly fall candles and then do you still need to get food? Yeah. Okay. Well we're also gonna get Trevor some food. I don't know anyone as sweet as you. So we are back. It was a pretty successful candle run. I only got one candle, but what was successful is that I was able to get my friend's birthday gift. But like I said, I did get one candle. This one, again, from Sand and Paws, pet friendly. This is the scent Beware, and it's kind of like a spicy scent. Different spice profile than the other candles that I got, but still very, very fall scented. And again, not too strong because we want to make it pet friendly. We don't want his senses going crazy. And then here's the little artwork on the lid on this one. It's a little dog dressed as a ghost with like a jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat bucket. So freaking cute. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here just because this is gonna be my first time importing clips from this and stuff. So I'm sure I'm gonna need to like figure things out. Overall, really, really liking the camera. It's just... It's so easy to vlog with it. It really is designed to be like very easy to vlog with, very basic too. Not a lot of bells and whistles, which I don't mind because like for everyday vlogging like this, I don't think you need to get that crazy personally. So especially if you're like starting out vlogging, this is definitely a good option. Another thing that I like that I forgot to mention yesterday is that it's really ergonomic, like with the button to record on the front and stuff. It's just so easy to like whip it out and it's just so discreet and stuff. It's so tiny. It's very, very light, which is a good and bad thing because with it being so light, you know, your arm doesn't get tired and stuff. It's easy to carry around and everything it doesn't like make your bag or whatever you're carrying it in too heavy but it is kind of like easy to drop or like when I tried to put it in my car on the sticky pad it's so light the sticky pad didn't hold it so I do need to play around with things like that but overall very happy with this camera but I'll continue to vlog with it for the next couple weeks and like I said I'm gonna do like a full detailed dedicated review on this camera going through like everything on it so stay tuned for that if you are interested in more info about this camera but like I said I don't know what the import process is gonna look like that's always the part that scares me the most with a new camera is like yeah it records but like sometimes you need to like figure out where to import from or like specific settings to import with so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so that i can work on that so i will see you guys very soon in the next vlog Bye.